So this is what's become of the old place, eh? Interesting. Interesting? This is your hometown we're talking about here. Couldn't you be a little more concerned? I am. But panicking isn't going to make a blind bit of difference, is it? Well, no, but... Look! That must be the light Annie Hal told us about. Sure looks like the glow of a crystal to me. Let's go take a closer look.
Galahad. Galahad, is that you? Elvis, you're back. It's certainly been a while, huh? Aye, I suppose it has. Oh, we just got back now as it happens. And these are friends of yours? That they are. Friends and travelling companions. Uh, let's say we have a common purpose. Anyway, what are you doing over here? Shouldn't you be guarding the Institute like always? Not anymore. I've been ordered to guard the tower instead. Ah, have you now? Well, that's handy. We were hoping to take a look around inside, see? Checking a few things like... Uh, I don't suppose you could let us in. Sorry, the tower's off limits right now. No one's allowed in, not even you. Ah, come on. I'm sure you can make a wee exception for an old pal, eh? I'm afraid not. The tower's off limits, and that's that. Ah, you never wear one for bending the rules, eh? But we've got to get in there somehow. No, no. The tower's off limits. Off limits. Off limits. Off limits. Eh, uh, Galahad, you, you all right there, pal? Off limits. No intruders! Intruders! Eliminate! Eliminate! Ah! When? No! Entry! No! Entry! Limit. No intruders! No entry! I said I won't say it again! No entry! No entry! Off limits! No intruders! There's nothing! You are about to witness my true power! I must endure! Guess it's my turn! Here I go! Ha! I have to protect myself! Here I go! You rang? Why, you crafty wee devil! <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker! Guess it's my turn. I'm up, huh? Let me help you. Sorry to be a pain. Yeah. Oh, what's next? I wonder. Yeah. Here I go. Wasn't part of the plan. Oops. What? Oops. Here goes. Yeah. Does that feel better? Let me help you. So, let's get critic. My time to shine, eh? Right, so, let's get critic. My time to shine, eh? I'm up, huh? I don't understand. Ah.
Nothing's getting through. Aye, this won't get us anywhere. We need to fall back and have a wee think. Whoa. Our attacks were just bouncing off him. That's no ordinary defense. You think maybe he has an asterisk? <sighs> I suppose it's possible. I'm more worried about him flipping his wig like he did. And what the heck was going on with that? Well, either way, it doesn't look like we're getting into the tower. Maybe we should make our way to the Institute of Magical Inquiry instead. The Institute of Magical Inquiry? The clue's in the name. It's a place where people conduct research into magic. The boss over that way is an old friend of mine. Reckon he'd be the one to ask about what's been going on. And about what came over Galahad back there and all. But the two things must be connected, right? The city going weird and that Galahad guy going weird as well. Prince Castor was acting out of the ordinary too. Uh, not to mention half of Savalon. Wait. Are you sure your friend at the Institute can even be trusted? Roddy and me go way back. If there's anything up with him, I'll be able to tell straight off. I hope you're right. <laughs> you worry too much, lassie. Everything's going to be just fine. Well, if you say so. I'll be jiggered. How do, Roddy? It's been a wee while, eh? When did you get back? And, and why didn't you send me a letter or something to let me know you were alright? I was starting to think you might be dead in a ditch somewhere. Now, now, Roddy. You should know better than that. If anyone or anything manages to finally do me in, it'll be the talk of every tavern in the land. I've just been busy as all. Busy trying to make sense of that blasted book lady Emma left behind, mostly. Oh, that old thing. And how's it going? Making any progress? Oh, aye, it's coming along nicely. Well, Roddy seems the same as ever. No weird mood swings here. Ach, but where are my manners? Roddy! These are my new friends. We've been on a wee adventure together. Everyone, this is Roddy. Boss man of this here institution and storied son of Wiswald. Roddy McGranite at your service. I hope Elvis hasn't been too much of a pain. Aye, less of that. I've been an exemplary travel companion, I'll have you know. But, listen, there's a few things we need to ask you about. And one immediate problem we need your help with. We're wanting to get into the tower, see? But that job's where Galahad won't hear a word of it. So, Tara? Roddy? How's your conscience, Elvis? Clear? 
white as the driven snow, or soiled and murky, black with guilt. What the heck are you on about? Which one is it? Black or white? Black, white, black, white. Roddy, pull yourself together, man. Your heart is black. Black. Get out. No. I don't. No. Ah! He's locked the blasted door. He completely flipped out, just like Galahad. Yes, and in both cases, it seemed to be the mention of the tower that triggered the sudden change. So what are we going to do now, Elvis? Is there anyone else who can help us? Um... Oh. Well, look who it is. Lily. Lily! You know her, Elvis. Aye, she's Roddy's wife. She'll be able to tell us what's been going on for sure. Unless she's suffering from the same weird affliction as everybody else. Ack, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Come on, let's go and see what she has to say. She went into that shop over there. Today? I can't complain, Lily. Now, what can I do for you? I was looking for a new gown for our Mona. Oh, she'll have grown out of all her clothes before I know it. Uh, all right. Let's see now. There. How's this? Oh, it's adorable. Oh, she's going to love it. Thank you so, so much. Hey, do, Lily? Elvis! I didn't know you were back. Aye, I, I just got home, and I just ran into Roddy, and... Oh, sorry, but if it's him you're wanting to ask about, you should know. We're not together anymore. Eh? What do you mean? We split up. It's just me and the wee one now. You should come round to our new place sometime. She'd love to see you. Anyway, it was nice catching up. Ta-ta! Well, she seemed pretty normal, right? No sudden mood swings or anything? Uh, I, I suppose you're right. I can't believe her and Roddy have split up, though. I, I always thought they'd be together forever. So you've not heard, then, about the accident at the Institute? It was a bad business. That poor wee girl got caught up in it all. What? Mona? Is she... is she all right? No. She didn't make it, poor thing. And her only ten... Oh, no. Aye. She was delivering something to her dad when the accident happened. So he set right to blaming himself, if only I'd been at home so the child didn't have to come and find me, that sort of thing. And Lily set to blaming herself in turn for sending wee Mona off after him. And then they set to blaming one another and, well... I don't mean to pry, but... Wasn't Lily just talking about her daughter as if she was safely at home? I... I don't have the heart to ask exactly what she means, poor dear. And unless someone can find the time to head north up to the forest there and check on her, I'm not sure we'll be finding out any time soon. We'll do it. Come on. We need to go and get to the bottom of this. I just can't get my head around it. So Lily's behaviour wasn't quite as normal as it seemed after all. We need to find out what's going on. Then we'll need to speak to Lily and Roddy some more. As she's up in the forest, I'm guessing he's still over at the Institute, right? Who to speak to first?
door's locked. Hmm. Not to worry. There are ways and means. Ways and means? Aye. There's a network of pipes and tunnels under Wiswold. And they carry rainwater and sewage and all that out of the city. And the Institute's hooked up to that network. So... Wait. You're not suggesting we... I am. <laughs> I know a hatch that'll get us down there. I used to use it to get around town without Lady Emma noticing. But sewage pipes? Really? Isn't that a little unhygienic? Uh, it's a wee bit smelly, aye. But it never did me any harm. Well, if it's the only way... Ez, trust me. Then I suppose we don't have much choice. Are you okay with this, Gloria? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, no reason. I just thought you might not like the idea of splashing around in people's... Ugh. People's what? Uh, um... Never mind. Then it sounds like it's settled. Sorry, Adele. Oh, you don't need to apologize. It's not like this was your idea. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Into the sewers we go! This place has changed a bit since I was last here. It's a proper forest now. And when you look at the colour of that water, it's like a lake of blue paint. Guess it can't be poisonous, though. People seem to be living here just fine. Uh, what brings you out here, eh? All right there, big man. Do you live around here? Oh, I do now, eh? Since my old house got crushed by all the trees. That's why you're living out here? Wow. And what's with all the kids? Oh, they've lost their homes too, poor wee things. And their parents, most of them. We, we take care of them now. Their parents died? Well, no one's quite sure. First, strange things started happening to the town, and then all the scholars started disappearing. These are the bairns they left behind. Disappearing parents? What the hell has happened to this place? <laughs> 